Hello everybody, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we are studying analog electronics, negative feedback amplifiers, voltage shunt and in that input impedance. We have already discussed some part of that in the earlier episodes. Let's start. So uh, we are discussing ZIF, input impedance uh, with the voltage shunt. Uh, so either it will increase or decrease, we'll see. Uh, so for this we have I have already drawn the diagram and I have uh, uh, get inside this A and A has been explained like uh, that is uh, ZI is there from A we are getting inside that A that is ZI is there, II is there, VI is there and A into I is that this the amplification is there and Z0 is the output impedance is there. So we are calculating now ZIF. So ZIF, first of all ZIF is what is ZIF is what is the ultimate thing that we are giving as input VS, IS sorry and VI voltage, voltage is VI so the voltage will be here also VI, here also VI so I will write the voltage as VI that is across this. So if we consider this part then what is available input um, impedance is ZIF here. So what is the, I will put two nodes here. So what is the ultimate voltage we are having is VI and what is the ultimate current uh, is going through is IS. So VI upon IS is ZIF. So I will write it as VI upon IS and this will be our uh, base for the derivation. So this is ZIF. So I will write it here, right here is uh, ZIF equal to VI upon IS and we have to start the derivation. Another thing that is uh, that can be seen directly is VI equal to II into ZI. These are the two things can be seen. Okay, so now let us start with uh, this only that is VI because it includes VI. So VI will start the derivation from here that is VI equal to or uh, for the focusing part it will be better if I will start from here that is ZIF equal to VI upon IS and ZI equal to VI upon II. These two things are there and we will start the derivation from here so that it will be uh, in focus, better focus. So um, ZI equal to VI upon II. So ZI can be written as uh, VI upon II. Now what is has to be derived as VI has to stay II. So, VI can be written as ZI into II. So, VI can be written as um, ZI into II can be written as uh, from the equation here, from the equation third that is IS minus IF. That is VI equal to ZI IS minus ZI IF and IF can be written as beta into V0. So VI equal to ZI IS minus ZI beta into V0 and V0 can be written as A into II. So VI equal to ZI IS minus ZI beta A into II. So thus uh, we can derive it further as VI equal to uh, IS into ZI minus A into beta into ZI into II. So now um, we can see here that is ZI into II is obviously VI so I can replace it. So VI plus A into beta VI equal to IS into ZI and thus VI if taken common is 1 plus A beta is IS upon ZI and thus VI upon IS equal to ZI upon 1 plus A beta that is nothing but ZIF. So it is established from the mathematical expression that is ZIF input impedance with feedback is ZI upon 1 plus A beta that is the input impedance is actually decreasing when voltage shunt combination is used. Uh, we'll deal with the output impedance in the next episode. Till then, thank you. Goodbye.
uh, consider subscribing. This will help the channel to grow. Thank you.